Can your even money bet selection win three in a row within 19 bets? If it can, the three-step ladder may be the betting strategy for you. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is the tutorial for the three-step ladder. But before we get started, if you enjoy money management videos and want me to make more of them, let me know by destroying the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on the bell. Here is the three-step ladder. You will need 21 units. The first thing we're gonna do is break down our unit size using this spreadsheet. For this example, we are gonna use $10 units. We are gonna come up here, enter our unit size of $10, hit enter, and you can see that we have 19 levels to work with. Now, if you are already a channel member, you can go ahead and download the spreadsheet. If you are not a channel member, consider joining. You will be able to download all of my spreadsheets, watch bonus videos, and of course, support my YouTube channel. For those of you who cannot become a channel member at this time, that's okay, I got you covered. Go grab a pen and paper because I'm gonna enter in different unit sizes. And whenever I get to your unit size, just pause the video and write down the 19 steps. Okay, so let's start with a $5 unit size. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and write down the 19 levels. I will go back to the $10 level, $25, $30, $100 unit size, and for my high rollers, a $250 unit size. Okay, as mentioned earlier, for this example, we're gonna stick with a $10 unit size. Here is how the three-step ladder works. We're basically looking to win three in a row while parlaying our bets. So check it out. If we are using a $10 unit size, our starting bet amount would be the number you see in this column. So for level one, we would start out with a $2 bet. And let's say we win that bet. Okay, our next bet would be a parlay. So a $4 bet. And say we win that bet as well. For our last bet, we are simply just taking our winnings and putting it on the line. So this would be a $6 bet. So essentially, you're just taking your last bet amount and adding this number to it. So four plus two would be six. And say we win our last bet as well, plus six. You can see that we are at plus $12. That's a little over one unit of our original unit size. Now, if you were to win three in a row on any of these 19 levels, you will profit anywhere between one and three units. That's original unit size. Now, you might be wondering what this means, no safety net. I will explain that to you now. So for the first 15 levels, you have a safety net. What do I mean by safety net? Well, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and clear this. Okay, say we lose level one, we lose level two, and say we're on level three. We win the first bet, we win the second bet, but we lose the third bet. If we were to win our first two bets, but lose the third bet, what we can do is restart on that level. So in this case, I would not need to go to level four, I can just restart on level three. Why? Because winning our first two bets, you can see that we are at a plus six and losing your third bet, all that would do is wipe out your first two wins, right? So we are at plus six, but we gave it away on the third bet, which means we have broken even for this level. So instead of going to level four, we can just clear this and restart on level three. This is super important because essentially, it gives us more than 19 attempts, all right? So if this happens and you can restart at a certain level, you pretty much have more than 19 attempts to win three in a row, which is fantastic. Okay, so let's run through this safety net one more time just so you understand. Let's say we win this bet, but we lose the second bet. 
no safety net because we did not win our first two bets. Remember, you only get a safety net if you win your first two bets, but lose the third bet. So let's say we lose level four, we go down to level five, and we're always looking at the amount in this column to determine our starting bet for that level. Okay, so say we win this bet, we parlay, we win the next bet, but we lose the $12 bet. Do we have a safety net here? Yes, we do, because we won our first two bets, but lost the third bet on level five, which means we can just restart level five and try again. If we win three in a row, great. You can see that we are in profit. If not, we just keep going down the progression until we hit a three in a row. I hope that explains the safety net. Now, the last four levels are highlighted in red because they do not have a safety net. So what do we do? Well, I'll show you. Let's say we get all the way down to the $22 level, okay? Okay, so let's say we have lost all of these bets and we're down to the last four. But say we lose the $20 bet as well. So what the no safety bet means is, let's say we win at $22, and then parlay and win the $44 bet. Now, instead of just adding $22 to our last bet of $44, making this bet $66, we would need to double our last bet instead of just adding $22 to it. Let me show you why. Because if we were to place a $66 bet, check it out, we are still in the minus. Okay, so we would need to double our last bet of $44, which means this parlay would be an $88 bet. And if we win the $88 bet, that's great because we are almost at a two unit profit, original unit size. Now, what the no safety net means is if we were to lose the $88 bet, we cannot restart on this level because we have doubled our last initial bet of $44. You see, before these last four levels, we were only adding this amount to our last win. We were not doubling our second win. We were just adding this amount to it, which gave us the opportunity to restart at a certain level if we were to win the first two bets and then lose the third one. We don't have that luxury for the last four levels, highlighted in red, okay? If we were to win the first two bets but lose the third bet, there is no safety net. We have to move down to the next level. I hope that makes sense, okay? So I'm gonna tell you one more time. Levels one through 15, if we were to win our first two bets but lose on the third bet, we can restart on that level. The last four levels, highlighted in red, if we were to win the first two bets, but lose on our third bet, we do not have a safety net. We have to move down to the next level. And remember, we are not adding this amount to the last bet level. We are doubling when it comes to the last four levels. Okay, so if we were to win the $20 bet, we would go to 40. And instead of going to 60, we would have to double our last win of $40 and go to 80, all right? We only do this for the last four levels, not before that, okay? So let's clear this. And if you were to make it all the way down to level 19, so let's say we lose that, we lose that, all right? So if we were to win plus 28, we would double that, okay? And if we win the $56 bet, we would double that as well. So the next bet would be up for 112. And if we win that, you can see that we have one and a half, almost one and a half units of profit. And I'm talking about original unit size. Now, I know what you're thinking. Winning three in a row is tough. And you're right, it is. You have about a 12.5% chance of winning three in a row. However, we are not using our original unit size bet amount right away. We are breaking our unit size down. So in the beginning, we're only risking one fifth of our original unit size to try to win one unit instead of the full amount of $10. 
and we have 19 or more attempts to do so. So we will need a very good bet selection to try to hit three in a row. I'm gonna clear and run through this one more time just so you have a good understanding of the three-step ladder. So we lose on level one, we go to level two. Let's say we win this, but we lose the next bet, which means we have to go down to level three. Let's say we win and then we lose. We lose here, we win, we win, but we lose. What do we do? We have a safety net since we won our first two bets but lost the third one. So we can clear, try again. So we lose, go down, we win, lose, win this one, win the parlay, but we lose on the $18 bet. Another safety net. So you can see that we have more than 19 attempts. If this were to happen, it's happened on two levels so far, which is a good thing because the more attempts, the better. So we would clear and start over on this level. We win, we lose, we lose. Bad losing streak, we lose again. Win, lose. Win, win, but then lose here. Another safety net, we can restart on this level. Okay, win, lose, win, win, and let's say we place a $36 bet and win. Check it out, we have one and a half units, original unit size in profit. If this happens, we can clear and start from the beginning. If you don't hit in 19 attempts or higher, you would be down 21 units, as mentioned in the beginning of the video. But if you do hit, like I said, you're in profit anywhere between one to three units, depending on which level you win three in a row on. You can clear everything, restart until you hit your three to five win goal for this session. And that is the three step ladder. Make sure you guys stay tuned because for the next video, we will play a session using the three step ladder. Also, we'll be exploring different bet selections best suited for the three step ladder. And if you guys have any suggestions for bet selection that you think would do well with the three step ladder, go ahead and leave me a comment, okay? And either way, let me know what you think of the three step ladder. If you enjoy these types of videos, go ahead and smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell because my next video, I will be demonstrating the three-step ladder. So you don't want to miss that. Again, consider becoming a channel member and supporting my YouTube channel. You can download this spreadsheet as well as many others, watch bonus videos and support my channel. That is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.